Good evening and thank you for watching Acadiana's News Channel at 6. I'm Jasmine Thibodeau. I'm here at the Lafayette Police Memorial where you can see right here that Senior Corporal Sejus Jolivet's name has been added only seven years after Corporal Michael Middlebrook, who he shared a special bond with. Talking to my dad about him, they were very close. They worked very closely together. Jalavet and Middlebrook both served Precinct 4 in North Lafayette. Detective David Sibley, a close family friend, worked with them and tells me it was important to Jalavet that Middlebrook always be remembered. He even kept a picture of him in his garage where Jalavet spent much of his time. We teach our kids all the time about Michael and that legacy is going to continue on because we're going to carry on the legacy of Sejus Jalavet. Jolivet joined the Lafayette Police Department on November 5th of 2013. Sibley says he was the type of officer you could always lean on for help. It made him a phenomenal negotiator. Um, we would always lean towards Sejus to kind of de-escalate a situation if things were bad. And Sejus had a way of building rapport with people and getting people to open up. He also provided a safe space for his brothers and sisters in law enforcement. People aren't calling 911 because they're having a good time. And I could always go to Sejus after a call and kind of lighten the mood and, and get a smile. And now they're showing up for his family. Jolivet's sister-in-law, Adrian Caesar, shared these pictures with me. She says just two days after his death, officers noticed she had a flat tire and changed it in front of Jolivet's youngest son, Asher. She tells me it was a moment that showed Asher his dad's brothers in blue would always be there to help. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure his family's taken care of and the, the entire department and this community is coming together to make sure that this family will be taken care of. As someone who loved his community, Caesar says Jolivet would never turn away from helping others. And he could have known what was to be ahead of him. He still would have answered that phone. He still would have answered the call. He still would have showed up that day. He gave the ultimate sacrifice and that he's never going to be forgotten. We'll always remember him. Um, it's the definition of, of selfless service. Here are statements from Corporal Jolivet's squad who all expressed his love for family and his love for service. You can read their full statements on our website at KTC.com.